All right guys, I want to show you that damage that I did to the drive shaft on it and then I'm going to show you some other stuff that I've done to it if you haven't been watching and following along on the channel. So this one, the drive shaft, yeah that busted all up. That is not the same drive shaft that would come with its stock. Uh, not this side of it, uh, this side. So these little plastic joints right here, this is what it would look like on both ends of it. This one, it's actually these drive shafts are from the Everest 10, it's from Red Cap. So it's their crawler. So these are what these drive shafts are from. And also, this transmission that's in here, this is not the transmission that comes with the car. That's an Everest 10 transmission as well. Uh, especially like as far as that motor, that red motor there, it's a 4400 kV brushless motor. It's a red cap motor. And uh, the gears aren't the same either. So those are uh, Traxxas gears. So those are 32 pitch instead of the 48 pitch. I wanted something beefier, so it take some abuse. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, probably what I'm gonna do with these pieces here that broke the drive shaft. I'll probably go for some Traxxas drive shafts from uh, the Traxxas Slash. It's what I've used in the past and they seem to handle quite a bit of torque anyhow, so I'll probably do that. Okay, so moving forward would be, uh, you know, protecting the body a little bit and I kind of overlooked one spot. So yeah, when I was just doing a little bit of that bashing and crashing deal, it definitely gouged the plastic that's there. So this ch chassis is pretty, it's pretty brutal to the actual body. So I've like glue, used, I used a glue gun on these little spots. I'm gonna have to do it up again. I'll probably use some shoe goo this time. That way I can goo it up on these little corners where they're gonna poke the body itself. So that's why I did like right here and here. So yeah, that's that. 
So anyway, I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in this vehicle. As far as the ground pounder, it won't come like this anyhow, but I did run it on a 3S too. So it's a, a 3S LiPo. It was a Venom battery, uh, 5,000 milliamp, 50C discharge. So it had a lot of power in it. And of course, when you're, you got a lot of power and you're all that momentum going, and then all of a sudden you come to a screeching halt, things are gonna snap. So that's exactly why that drive shaft snapped. Just letting it rip. So. Yeah, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these at omgrc.com. That is our website. So uh, it will come with a brushed system in it. Uh, if you watch one of my previous videos of the ground pounder, you can show it how I show it running stock so you can kind of get an idea. So yeah, you want to only run this vehicle on 2S. So if you run it on a 2S LiPo, you're fine. If you run it on a 3S LiPo, goodbye motor because I killed the motor. There's only a 540 motor that's in it and it's already gone. So yeah, definitely uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And again, check us out at omgrc.com where you can find everything as far as all your different hobbies. And we use Klarna. So Klarna is another payment option too. So you can buy now, pay later deal. Anyway, catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you again for watching.